come up with ways to show you guys how to do inverts because that's really important. It's kind of like a foundation. So this way is on spin and it's from a sit and it lets you get into a one leg hang on the same side as opposed to all of the other so-called easy way to invert has been um, into a outside leg hang. So this is going to take you into an inside leg hang. And it uses the circular motion for um, the leverage, basically. So you can totally do this on a static pole. But it's a lot easier, and you use the circular motion when you do it on a spinning pole. So it's really good for people who are already comfortable spinning, even if you're not necessarily comfortable inverting, or even if you run out of energy um, or uh, strength to invert. So first thing you're going to do is walk around and get a little bit of momentum going on, climb it up, and take it into a pole sit. Now, the direction that you're going is going to make a difference. So I am currently going counterclockwise, which is going to mean I'm going to have my right hand up high, and it's not going to be up too high, because if you have it too high, then you're not going to be able to um, actually fling around. So, once you're sitting, you bring your hand down to around your hip area. Well, not really. It's not really good in my hip. It's more like my chest. All right, so you bring your hand down around your chest area. Take your other hand. Bring it between your legs down the pole. At the same time, you're going to begin separating your legs. You're going to grab the pole, bring your leg around, and lean it on back. All right? So, and then you can hook that same side. So, inside leg hang. Um, so, as you saw, I probably did that with one leg straight, one leg bent. You can do pretty much any combination of, um, you know, I wouldn't even worry about it. Whether you have both legs bent or both legs straight, watch this, I'm doing on the other side, going clockwise with my left hand high, and I promise you these legs are going to be bent. I would say, you know, if you can keep the toes pointed, and watch my videos, I'm not perfect. If you can keep the toes pointed, even if you have bent legs, it'll still look good. And vice versa, even if you flex your foot and have a perfectly straight knee, it's still going to look, you know, funky at any rate. So like I said, I'm not as good on this side. Oh, here we go. All right. Have a seat. Bring the hand down to about chest level. Start separating the legs. Bring the leg around. Now, what is happening is you are using the cradle. Remember cradle spin? So you're using the leverage of the cradle spin. Um, you're using like that pivot off of your hip to keep you on the pole and able to, so the main thing is to be able to lean back and allow those legs to come up. Pivoting on the pole is what will help you allow those legs to come up. So, good side again. Bring it up into a pole sit spinning. Lean it over one side as we do with our pull sit. Hand comes down to in between the legs. Whoops. <laughs> you see what I'm doing with my hip right there? And just continue to follow through with the movement, bringing yourself into the outside leg hand. Okay. Question. 
questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to contact me through here or my website, avivafitclip.com. Safe and happy following.